Now let us discuss about Terraform functions. Uh, in any language, uh, function means which takes some input, process something inside and returns some value. So this is called function. But in Terraform, we cannot uh, create user defined functions. We need to use uh, built in functions. There are multiple types of functions like numeric string, file collection, network related functions. We can practice few functions and then understand how the functions work in Terraform. You don't need to remember all the functions. Whenever you need some function, you can just search in Google and you can do that. Just you need to understand the purpose and how to do it. For example, if you see, max is the function name you are providing 5 12 11 then it will return maximum of this number similarly these are the numeric functions we have a few functions like max min and few other things in string if you go then there is something called join if you give this join function if you give comma then terraform will attach these three strings with comma and similarly we will you will have split function you can split uh, a string with a delimiter. Here the delimiter is a uh, comma, then Terraform will give you a separate list of foo, bar, and then pass. Let us practice this split. I'm in Terraform console. Okay, to get Terraform console, just type Terraform console. I'm using split function. I want I want space as delimiter and then hi hello world now you get the strings hi hello world because I used space as delimiter okay that is one function it is splitting the string wherever space is there here this space then it will string uh, it will split this string and here another space it will split this string and it will show us all the strings okay so this is one function and we have collection we will use this now for example let us use the lookup function Lookup retrieves the retrieves from a map if you give key. For example, if there is a map and you give the key, then it will fetch the value. If there is nothing, then it can give you the default value. Let us practice this uh, through our EC2 instance. Okay, let me copy one EC2. and then provider okay i have provider and then i have ec2 Now the requirement is if I select dev, I need to create key to dot micro instance. SIT T2 dot small prod T2 dot medium. So this is the requirement. How can we do this using Terraform functions? Now let us create one variable. Here variable. I'm giving instance type. Okay, so this is map and default equal to I'm giving key as dev the value t2 dot micro sit t2 
e2 dot small rod e2 dot medium okay and i'll create another variable called environment type equal to string default equal to for example i'm giving dev okay so here how can you do this using lookup function the syntax is lookup you need to provide the map and then what is the key and if key is not found the default value okay for example here lookup what is our map where dot instance type is our map what is the key key is environment okay now environment what is the default value dev now this lookup function will go and search in this map instance type and then it will look for dev it will fetch the t2 dot micro value so then it will create the ec2 instance okay now let us try this whether it is fetching or not terraform plan now you go and see the instance type t2 dot micro okay and if the key is not found for example if i have given the environment as uat which is not there in the map if the key is not found i want to fetch i want to keep the default value as t2 dot micro okay now let us see where dot environment is uat it is not found then it should fetch this default value okay now for the change i will give t2 dot large t2 dot nano okay t2 dot nano this is the lookup function now you understand how to uh, check the syntax of the function how to supply input and how can you expect the return values we have another important function in file this one if you want to read the content of any file the function name is file and then give the path of the file okay so this is useful when we create ec2 instance we never uh, logged in through ssh now let us try to do that login through ssh for that i need to do something to log in to ec2 through ssh we must have ssh key attached such key and security group okay so now we need to create ec2 key pair security group and attach them to ec2 okay we need to do this now there is a module in terraform aws key pair in this module you will create the aws key pair with the name and then public key and attach this key pair to the ec2 instance now let us do this how you can just give a name my key instead of hard coding this entire key here we can use the file function file and 
what is the path of that SSH key? First, before before that, we need to generate that SSH key. For that, the command is SSH hyphen key gen. By default, it will generate the file in this location. It's okay. Okay, it's all. It has already exist. I'm just giving overwrite. Now, if you check this folder, you got one public key and then one private key. Now, I want to attach the public key to this file. What is the path? C. Just copy the path. You need to give double slash in the programming. And then id underscore rsa dot pop. Now this will create key pair. We need to attach this key pair to the EC2 instance. Now let us see that how AWS instance Terraform. Here there is a argument called key name. Okay, you need to supply the key name. Key underscore name equal to how you refer this AWS underscore key pair dot my key dot key underscore name. Now this AWS key pair will be created in your AWS and then this key pair will be attached here. Okay. So we used file function to read the content of it. And then one more thing we want, we need is security group to connect from your instance. Now this is how we need to give security underscore group. It is expecting a list. security underscore groups it is expecting a list okay then we need to create another resource security group aws security group terraform the syntax is like this We will give allow SSH. Okay. Here we need to give name description VPC ID. Name is allow SSH. And then VPC. Let us take the default VPC. No worries. I am just hard coding sometimes. But after a few sessions, we will do the best practices without hard coding anything. Now I will give this default VPC. And then we need ingress. Ingress is enough. Ingress will be automatic. allow port number 22 port number 22 and then cidr block cidr block is i am i want to connect from my system so i want cidr of or cidr should be only my system so there is another function how to get ip address of my system in terraform so we have a data source for this let's refer this article there is a data source. If you hit this URL, you will get IP address of your system. Okay. Now, let us hit this. Okay. 
but I want the IP address in a CIDR block format. For that purpose, just give like this. We no need IPv6. Okay, chomp is another function. Let us see what it will do. It removes the new line characters at the end of the string. Okay, that's it. Data dot http dot my ip dot body slash thirty two. Okay. Because we need to provide in a CIDR format. I have created security group and then I need to attach the security group here. How can I attach? AWS security group control plus control space dot allow SSH dot let us see the argument. We need ID, right? Sorry, attribute ID. Just give dot ID. Okay. So we have used multiple functions here. We have used lookup function and then we have used file function, chomp function to remove the new line characters and then yeah, we have we are using data source to get the IP address. Now let us run this and then we can see whether we are able to log in successfully or not. Okay, yeah. First run Terraform plan. Okay, Terraform in it. And Terraform plan. You see, we are creating three resources. One is security group and key pair and easy to instance. Terraform apply. Yes. Okay, if you see the error, there is some error regarding security group. Let us see the documentation. Here it is saying a list of security group names, but we attach to the IDs. That is the problem. How to get the name of it? Go to the attribute reference. Okay, let us try to get the name. And then see okay it accepted dot name but i don't see here any name Okay, here there is name. Okay, we got SSH instance or EC2 instance created. Let's go and see. Okay, I want the public IP address also to be printed. For that, what we have to give? output public underscore ip here value equal to aws underscore instance dot my ec2 dot public ip 
Now it will give us the IP address directly inside the console. Okay, we got the IP address. Let us try to connect SSH hyphen I. The private key is in home folder dot SSH ID underscore RSA. EC2 hyphen user at the rate IP address. See, we connected. Okay, here we learned a few functions and how to use those functions. We cannot practice all the functions in the, or we no need to remember all the functions also. Just you need to understand how to use those functions.